Quick Tools is a brilliant collection of Blender add-ons created by two amazing concept artists, Jamajur Abayev and Alexander Kalimnik. Their tools help you to work in as speedy, spontaneous and loose a way as possible, which means that one, you can smash your ideas out just the way you could with pen and paper. Two, you have all the advantages of working in 3D space like scaling, rotating, animating, lights, cameras, and so on. And three, and perhaps most importantly, you can get so much vitality into your creations. Getting bogged down in software technicalities kills creativity. And this pair of artists have created a suite of tools that bypass the boredom and the drudgery of polygon modeling. Instead, you can just paint draw, smoosh, modeling clay around, but all in 3D software. First up is the amazing sketching tool, Quick Curve. Launch it with the hotkey Control F. Over here in the end panel, all the shortcuts are displayed, but for the most part, the handiest one to learn is Control D for the Quick Curve Pi menu. That's once you've got Quick Curve launched. So once you see this uh, UI with its uh, turquoise and white text around the place, that means that Quick Curve has been launched and you can get drawing. To change the size of the brush, it's the standard Blender brush shortcut F, and then you just move your mouse to change the size. Or you can use the Photoshop square bracket keys to change the brush size. You can also change the brush profile shape. Control D, Pi menu. Up here are the profiles I can choose. You can also see a little menu at the top left. And there you can use the Shift Q shortcut to cycle through the brush shape profiles. Now, if I just start drawing at a random viewing angle off one of the orthographic views, just anywhere in space, you see, it's quite hard to tell where the line will be in space. Until you're familiar with how things work in Quick Tools, it's best to start working in orthographic view, just flat on front view, say, or side view. Just treat the screen, your monitor, like a flat sketch pad. And just for the moment, forget about working in 3D. Now you can really quickly start sketching out your designs. I'll set the brush size quite small and just start sketching uh, like with a pencil. I'm going to sketch the outline of some kind of futuristic speeder bike and I'll do it from the side. If I like, I can scribble as I would do in an ordinary paper sketchbook just to quickly fill in an area. That's one way of doing it. Now, of course, we are working in 3D software, Blender, so I can just uh, box select all the strokes that I've made with the shortcut B, B for box, grab that, rotate around a little bit in the viewport and change the scale, make it a bit thicker. Now, in top view, I could describe the shape a bit more. Maybe some bits stick out and go back at a bit of an angle or something like that. Let's say I want to add some boxy parts, panels or something sticking out on the side. At the moment, all my brush strokes are coming in dead level with the 3D cursor. Look at this. You'll also notice that it's the back of each stroke that's level with the cursor. And that's because of this direction setting here at the top of the UI, towards view. Quick Curve just finds the 3D cursor and extrudes the stroke from that level towards you, the viewer. We can cycle through uh, another couple of options here, away from view, so it does the opposite, finds the 3D cursor and moves, uh, fills in the stroke away from you. And there's also neutral, where both sides of the stroke are evenly spaced. In other words, it, it extrudes out from the 3D cursor evenly both ways. For the most part, towards view will be the most practical. 
And a good reason for that is how you can layer strokes on top of one another. If I want to draw on an existing surface, I need to check the alignment and placement settings down at the bottom of the UI. If I hover over a face and tap W, a work plane gizmo appears and the brush will draw along that surface. So I hover over a surface, tap W, and then it doesn't matter. I can move my cursor away from that surface and that same work plane still applies. And again, move the cursor, tap W, draw here. Move the cursor, tap W, draw there. And this way you can work your way around your 3D objects, knowing that your strokes are going to be placed the way you would expect. You can also automate this by using the next shortcut underneath, down there at the bottom of the UI, Alt W, first click position. or alternatively Alt W first click align. Now quick draw will draw on whatever is underneath my cursor when I start drawing. Doesn't matter uh, where I start drawing, it'll just do it automatically. And with these basic settings, you can rapidly build out a design in QuickCurve.